All right, in this video, let's take, take a look at this um, long division problem from homework section 4.2. All right, so this is a long division uh, type of problem. So I just copied this uh, long division algorithm right off the, um, our lecture handouts. So before you um, follow the long division algorithm, we got to make sure our dividend or numerator and our divisor or the denominator has no missing terms. So missing terms simply implies that there is one exponent missing. So if I count my exponent, this is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and x to 0 power. So there's no missing term. Um, our divisor or denominator also have no missing term, 2, 1, 0. So once you check the missing term, then you can begin to write out the big old long division algorithm. All right, so my divisor on the outside, 3x squared minus 2x minus 2. All right, my divisor, excuse me, my dividend or numerator, 3x to the fifth minus 8x to the fourth plus 5x to the third minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 6. All right, so first thing you check before you write everything out is the missing term. The second thing you need to do before you begin is make sure that we can, we're going to line up our exponents first. So if I got three terms on the outside, then I need to go into three terms in the inside at a time. So the first quotient got to be on top of the five. All right. So step number one, use the first term on the outside, go into the first term in the inside. How many times? Three go into three, one time. So step number two, write my quotient on top. Step number three, multiply. Use my quotient on top and multiply the three terms on the outside. And then we'll put the product below each term, each dividend. So one times three is three, put below the three. One times negative two is negative two, put below the negative eight. One times negative two is negative two, put below the five. So I want to line up my first quotient. So all the variable will follow, okay, straight down. That's why I don't, that's why I have a little space right here where I don't have to keep on writing a bunch of variables. All right, long division, we will subtract. So the first term, all right, will always cancels out. All right, let's subtract other terms here. Negative 8 subtracts a negative 2. Just got to be very careful here. Negative 8 subtract negative 2 should be negative 6. 5 subtract negative 2 is supposed to be a positive 7. So again, I'm leaving a little space between my terms because that's where the variable normally will go. All right, this is only two terms, okay? So since I, need, since I got three terms on the outside, I will do three terms in the inside. I need to go into three terms at a time. So that's why step number 6 says bring down the following term. And we go back to step number 1 and do this thing again. All right. First term on the outside is 3, go into first term in the inside, negative 6. 3 go into negative 6, negative 2 times. So I'll put right below, right above the x squares. So that will be negative 2 times. Now use my negative 2, multiply all three terms on the outside. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, put below the negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, put below the positive 7. Negative 2 times... Negative 2 is positive 4, put below my negative 7. All right, long division, I will subtract. First term will always cancel out. That's what we want to do. So let's subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3. Negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11. All right, so that's two terms again. Step number 6, bring down the next term. Start the process over again. So my first term on the outside is 3. Go into my first term in the inside. 3 going to 3. Positive 1 time. And I will put right above the positive 4x. So that will be positive 1 time. All right. Now use my positive 1 to multiply all three terms on the outside. Positive 1 times 3 is 3. Positive 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Positive 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. All right, let's subtract. First term always cancels out. 
All right, let's subtract. Be careful, okay? Negative 11 subtract negative 2 should be negative 9. 4 subtract negative 2. 4 subtract negative 2 is positive 6. All right, bring down the next term. All right, let's go through this again, okay? First time on the outside, go into the first time in the inside. Negative 9, negative 3 times. So now use my negative 3, multiply all three terms on the outside. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. When I subtract, my first term should always cancel out. As a matter of fact, all my terms will cancel out because 6 minus 6 is also 0. 6 minus 6 again is also 0. So this problem, I have no remainder. <clears throat> so if you have remainder, as in the lecture video says, if you have a remainder, you got to write it as quotient plus remainder over the divisor. So since I don't have any, um, any remainder, I don't have to write it that way. So my answer on the top, my first quotient, 1, is lined up with the x to the third column. So that will be x to the third minus 2x squared. plus x squared, uh, sorry, not x squared, x, sorry. Yeah, this is lined up with the x column, plus x minus 3. Just don't type in 1 right in front of the 1x and 1x to the third, okay? Don't type in the 1 in the homework. They will not take it. Alrighty, so that will conclude this quick video on the polynomial division. Thank you for watching.